This episode is sponsored by SmartVestor. Connect with an investing pro for free at RamseySolutions.com slash invest. You're listening to Ramsey Everyday Millionaires, where we talk investing, retirement, building wealth, and outrageous generosity. David starts this hour off in Oklahoma City. Hi, David. How are you? I am doing great. Thank you so much for taking my call. It's a pleasure to speak with you. You too. That's, well, the smartest financial decision my wife and I made was going through financial peace back in 2010, and it has paid dividends. Um, Thank you. What, uh, I, you're welcome. Um, it's not a hard question. It's just I have a little bit of anxiety on putting all of my eggs in one basket, but I retired in April of this year. I had established back in 2018 uh, with a financial advisor in another state. That account's got a little over $800,000 in it. A couple of years ago, when we settled my mother's estate and some funds we've got here in Oklahoma, a different financial advisor, uh, Ramsey, though, uh, with about 400000 and probably going to start drawing on this next year, 2025. Should I roll everything into under one financial advisor? Does that make more sense or keep it separate? Or do you have any advice along those lines? Wow. I, I don't think it's horrible. Here, here's the trick. The core of this um, is you. You and okay. your wife make the decisions. You and your wife understand that you've got $1.2 million. Way to go. Okay. You were yes. millionaires before the inheritance, and now you've even accentuated that even more. So, because I assume you've got equity in your house, so you probably are oh. at a million dollar net worth, not counting the inheritance. We, so, we're debt free completely. Yeah. So, so, um, so, uh, you yes. know, all, all of that to say the person we're counting on for your future is not a financial advisor, it's you. Okay. The advisor is there to teach you, present options to you about things that you don't know about and uh, inform you and say, hey, have you thought about doing this, David? Okay. And David goes, yeah, I thought about it, and no, doesn't fit with what I like to do. I'm not going to go that way. Um, okay. Or teach me a little bit more about it. And then sometimes you learn something new and you do something new. But most of the time you're going to keep doing the general things that got you here. So you are the secret sauce in this formula. <laughs> okay. Okay. So maybe the one that I feel more confident with being a teacher is the right decision. I so. think it is. Yeah. If, if that that would be the right decision, I I would put it together. I don't have two different people do my taxes. Well, okay, because that's that's the other piece in this is, you know, there's so many there's different IRAs, different tax consequences you draw from this one at this point in time, et cetera, et cetera. So yeah, yeah. but I'm saying if you if one person's looking at all of that with you then the two of you can go, okay, which order of attack as we start to do a drawdown to keep from getting into uh, required minimum distributions at 72 and a half, which ones do I need to attack first? Yes, you sir. want to deplete the traditionals first. I'll go give you a hint. <laughs> um, yes. You know, and, and you, if you've got a, if you've got an inherited, you've only got 10 years to deplete it by the new oh, IRS but... regs under Biden. And yes, so sir. you can't that keep it under there. Because the IRS wants their freaking money. They're Democrats. <laughs> so um, it's what they do. So okay. th that's the thing you're doing. So, so um, I kind of would want it under one simply because yeah. then there's one guy who has a full picture of everything. Or girl. Or yeah. Girl, yeah. 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 Full picture you. of everything, and I definitely wouldn't keep somebody around because I don't want to hurt their feelings. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's what he was doing. I think he just ended up with, you know, people where he is, people where he yeah. used to be. And, uh, but I don't think it's a diversification. I think it's more of a confusion. I, yeah. I would go with one, but, but having said that, that's 10% of the equation. 90% of the equation is David, you are the one with $1.2 million. Yeah. You are incredible. Well done. We salute you millionaire. Another baby steps millionaire. We're talking to right there. Started in 2010. Yes. And so what are we now? Uh, 15, 14, 14 years, years later. Mm -hmm. And there you sit. That's pretty typical. That's textbook. Yep. Perfect. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. Thanks for listening to Ramsey Everyday Millionaires. Need help with your investments? Connect with a SmartVestor Pro at RamseySolutions.com slash invest or click the link in the show notes. Ramsey Solutions is a paid non-client promoter of participating pros. Learn more at RamseySolutions.com slash SmartVestor.